Hello folks, welcome to Canal Channel Jose. Today we're going to show you, give you an idea how to replace the oil pan gasket on a 91 to 99 Toyota Tercel or 92 to 99 Toyota Paseo. And this uh, gasket, if you're having some issues on leakage on the bottom, the best way or best time to do it is when you're about to do an oil change, you drain all that old oil out and then once you we start taking out the oil pan out we have very little oil that we just gotta clean up so we can start putting this gasket and with that we're gonna make sure that we have the right gasket before we start taking the oil pan apart so with that said let's get started so to take this uh, oil pan uh, out we have five bolts in the front 10 millimeter and five in the back so we have to take all 10 out so we can drop it and slide it towards the passenger side so we can start changing this uh, gasket. So with that said, 10 millimeter bolts, let's take them out. So now what I have done is I have left the, the front outer bolt on and the one in the back just set, a couple threads in. So what I'm gonna do is gonna use a screwdriver to slowly split it from the block and then that way I control if in case it wants to drop those two bolts keep the weight of it while I tr split it all the way around. And what we have to do is we have to take this one and this one which is a 12 millimeter bolt that holds the exhaust manifold towards the block so it doesn't sh rattle or shakes around because we have to drop the exhaust a little bit so we can get the oil pan out because there's going to be the oil pump strainer that it won't let us slide it straight out. So once we take the, this off, we hopefully can take it out from the exhaust manifold here or we're going to hope to go all the way up and take it from up there all the way out. So hopefully we can just unbolt these. So we start by these though, 12 millimeter. Okay folks, so for us to drop the oil pan, we need to take off or split the exhaust in two so we can drop the exhaust down so we can slide it away from the block. And then to do that, we have to take this one, this one, and this one, 10 millimeter bolts off. This is the heat shield for the exhaust. And once we take off that, we gotta expose, we can expose this side, and then we can expose another bolt that is right on this side. This one is a 14 or 12 millimeter, and the other one looks like it's a 15 from the bottom. We already kind of put WD-40 into them so we can split them. Those are the hardest bolts to take off in an exhaust. Sometimes they break. So we're gonna take these off first, the shield, so we can expose those and then split the exhaust so we can get the oil pan out. Otherwise the exhaust is touching the oil pan and we cannot drop it. So now we're taking the heat shield off and then we have a bolt or a nut right on this side, 40 millimeter. And then we have a 50 millimeter on the other side, which is odd for this, but we have to put WD-40 on it and then the other side. So we're gonna take this one and the other one so we can drop the exhaust so we can let, give space for the oil pan to come out because the exhaust is touching the oil pan almost. So now we have one bolt just sitting there. So what we're gonna be is doing, we're gonna take it off and it's gonna drop. So, because we are already taking the ones that go against the block holding the exhaust on the bottom. So that way it drops and then we can go down there and take the oil pan out. So now we have the exhaust split so we can uh, take the oil pan out. So we have split the oil pan so we can pull it down. We just have two bolts holding it there. So we were just waiting for the exhaust to be dropped. So now we're going to show you what we meant, but we have to drop the exhaust. So here it is, the suction of the oil pump is the lowest point in the oil pan and that's why it wouldn't come out straight we have to drop the exhaust so we can drop the oil pan and bring it out that's why it wouldn't come out because this is the suction point so this oil pan still has oil from when we drain the oil so it not all drain out as you can see 
there's still some oil in there that we're gonna take out and clean the oil pan so that's oil that's why you gotta drain it all out so that way you have less oil coming out on the oil pan now that we have cleaned the engine block in the bottom we clean this one out we put this new silicone or the new gasket and we put it back into the engine okay folks so what we have now is we have clean all the way around where the gasket is gonna sit with acetone so we can clearly get everything pretty much clean so now we have the bolts clean and then we're gonna get the gasket out and put it and present it but you gotta make sure that you got the right gasket before you do that so we got the cut and then we got this little cut here so we 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 know that's the gasket and we're gonna be using ultra gray to put some silicone here and there so we can get that gasket to sit and stick to it so when we start pushing the pan into the the engine it doesn't move around so we're gonna put it and put some bolts on it so we can uh, set it and uh, have it ready to go So what the silicone is going to be doing is going to help us to hold it in place while we start maneuvering it into the engine. So the silicone, we're going to add some in the top as well, especially where it makes a bend so the, the oil doesn't leak out it's right on the where it uh, turns. We're going to put it and then set it into the engine. So this is just going to help us guide it so it doesn't flap around or move around. Now that we have set some silicone and bolt size, let's go put it onto the engine. We're gonna need some bolts so we can start guiding it right away. We just pull the exhaust back into the headers and we start putting the bolts in. So now we're going to exchange the one on this side on the passenger side for a 12 millimeter. So it's a new one because the other one was about to break. So we're going to put this one on now. So now we tighten this 12 millimeter bolt and nut and then we go on the other side and we tighten that 40 millimeter nut on the other side. Now we can tighten that 40 millimeter nut right there and that's for the connecting the exhaust manifold. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to put the two 12 millimeter bolts that hold this bracket for the exhaust. So we're going to put the, the one we had it. we're going to try to fit another one in here and see if it takes it. So now we put those back in. So for some reason this one didn't want to go in so we just put the one that was in there when we took it off. So now we just put the heat shield for the exhaust against the radiator and we come down here and torque the uh, oil pan and that should be it. So on the Toyota manual so we go to the torque specifications. And for the oil pan and the drain plug, it needs to be torque. It needs to be torque at 18 pounds.
So before I get the car going, what I do, I disconnect the spark plug wires, I check everything that is completely on, so that way when I start cranking the engine, the engine doesn't start, it just rotates. So that way the oil pump starts picking up oil and it starts sending it down the valves and all that system because right now the oil pump is dry. So you gotta do that, you gotta rotate it so the oil starts picking up into the oil pump and then it starts going around the block. Well folks, this hopefully this video will give you an idea how you can do the replacement on an oil pan gasket on a 91 to 99 Toyota Tercel, 92 to 99 Toyota Paseo. So it's pretty simple and uh, hopefully this give you a guidance on how to do it. The first thing is you gotta make sure that you got the right parts before you start a job because that way you can exchange them and you can still have your car on the road even if it's leaking a little bit. Another thing is that the, the depending on preparation on the surface for the gasket to go on is gonna, gonna determine how long is it gonna last. If it's gonna be a short time or long time, depending on how well you clean the surfaces to put the gasket back in. So that's very important. Getting cleaning the surfaces and getting ready to be compressed and leave it in there. So do a good job because you don't do this every often. We waited until the oil change was about due so we can drain all that oil. So now when we put everything back together, we can just add new oil and we don't have to worry about anything else. So it's, it's good to do it when the oil change is about to come to be due. So that way you can drain all that old oil and start fresh. So for us, what it helped is that we lifted the car so we can get underneath and we took the passenger side tire off so we can move around a little bit because it's, it's more towards that side so we can you have more room to play with and more light that can come in. So with that said, for our folks who are watching our video, haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. If you like our video, give us thumbs up, share it, and we'll see you soon with more videos here in the canal, El Chano Jose.